Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. I wanted to use the time this week to talk to you about legislation that recently passed my subcommittee of Health and Energy and Commerce. Next week it will be voted on the full committee. And it's going to reform what's known as the sustainable growth rate, what we've always called the doc fix. And this formula was set up almost 15 years ago as a way to limit how much doctors are paid for treating Medicare patients. In theory, it was supposed to control Medicare costs and keep them from increasing too fast. But in reality, it cut payment rates for doctors seeing Medicare patients every year. While most in most cases, Congress hasn't let those cuts go through, Medicare rates haven't been allowed to grow either. Over that time, it means that inflation is causing doctors' costs to far outpace what they are being paid by Medicare. This is the reason that a lot of doctors have started to limit the number of Medicare patients that they will see or have stopped taking Medicare patients altogether. It puts our seniors in a tough spot, leaving them without the ability to see the doctors that they want and get the treatments that they need from their doctor of choice. It's a sad situation that's difficult for both patients and doctors. For years, Republicans and Democrats have agreed this is bad policy, but they couldn't agree on how to fix it. Congress has made a number of attempts to reform the formula over the years without ever making much progress. Over the past year and a half, I've been working with a group of congressmen from really both sides of the dais to come up with a way to fix how Medicare pays our doctors. After a lot of work and long nights, we approved a bill in our subcommittee this past week with overwhelming bipartisan support that would permanently repeal the sustainable growth rate formula and replace it with a solution that is good for both doctors and Medicare patients. The legislation does a couple of important things. First, for the next five years, it increases medical reimbursement rates each year to adjust for inflation. Then for the next five years, it institutes a reporting system that will ensure that best medical practices are provided to Medicare patients. It does this by giving additional fee increases to doctors who perform up to the best standards of their field. This would reward doctors who do a good job in taking care of our seniors. By passing this legislation, we can ensure that doctors can afford to keep seeing Medicare patients and that seniors can get the high quality of care that they need. There's still a lot of work ahead for us, but I'm optimistic. We've got a real chance at fixing this problem in a, in a fiscally responsible way, one that will benefit both our seniors and our doctors. Thank you for taking the time to listen. For more information on legislative issues before the United States Congress, please visit my website, burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless Texas.